hello friends please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos hello friends welcome back to the channel today we are going to learn about lambda functions or it is also known as lambda expressions so let's start so first what is lambda function any function which has no name is known as lambda function and it is also called as anonymous function and this is the syntax for the lambda functions so first we need to give this uh, lambda keyword and after that we can give n number of arguments and then this colon and then we have the expression any operation which we want to perform here now where to use at any place of time while doing coding when you feel the code which you are going to do is not going to be used again and again so it means when there is no need of reusability then we can use lambda functions or expressions now let's implement in our code so this is my pycharm and uh, here i am going to create another script by the name lambda sorry uh, right click the new then python file and i am naming it lambda so this is the script now let's see first how we are uh, doing code without using lambda function or by using a normal function so i am creating a tab uh, naming it as calc and giving here argument and then x equals to x into 2 or we can have y and then i am printing this y now calling this function calc and i'm giving 10 let's see so right click and run lambda yes we are getting 20 this is fine so now we have one two and three line of code to print this our calculation now how we can get it in lambda so i am using lambda keyword then passing argument then colon and then argument into two so like this we can have the lambda so this is correct now let's run it and let's see what we will have so yes we are getting this 20 so for now i am commenting it yes so nothing is printing so now this expression will return always a lambda function object or a function object so we need to save it in a variable in a variable so now let's print this calc and run it so here is the function object and it is lambda type now as we have given an argument so we need to pass here also now i am giving 10 again and let's run it so yes we are getting 20 as we have in our normal function calculation now how we can pass multiple arguments so as normal as we are passing in methods or functions so y and here we can give uh, into y and 10 and 2 let's run it so yes again we are getting 20 if i'll give here 3 then it will return 30 yes so we are getting the 30 as a result so by this way you can implement any lambda function or expression so i hope it is clear now if you like the information please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching jai hind